The Bank of Canada is trying to thread a particularly slim needle. It wants to get rates lower, but it doesn't want markets to freak out. So once again, it cut 50 basis points, but it added this caveat. With the policy rate now substantially lower, we anticipate a more gradual approach to monetary policy. The question is, what does gradual really mean? Well, we've just cut by 50 basis points at the last two meetings. So gr more gradual is more gradual than that. Tiff Macklem's answer is deliberately vague because he sees what you see. Per capita GDP has fallen six straight quarters. The unemployment rate is rising. Economists say gradual doesn't mean the rate cutting cycle has come to an end. Canadians are going to see even more rate cuts ahead. Canadians have been clobbered recently. Inflation drove up prices. A slowing economy is eating into economic confidence. So even if those 50 basis point cuts are behind us, economists say the Bank of Canada needs to bring down rates to help navigate the stormy months and years ahead. RBC sees the Bank of Canada cutting rates down to 2% by the end of next year, believing that the economy is going to need more than just neutral, but a little extra support over that horizon. That's welcome news to variable rate mortgage holders. It probably dropped by about $250, $300 bucks a month. Roman Ashipkov saw his mortgage in Red Deer nearly double when rates took off. That extra money helps, but costs are up across the board. You know, fuel costs are up, um, you know, costs to food for kids and formula and diapers and all that stuff is up. And now the economy is facing new threats from incoming U.S. President Donald Trump and his proposed tariffs. And we still don't know what will be targeted, by how much or how Canada may respond. So it is not just a cloud of uncertainty, but a very pernicious fog over the entire visibility of the Canadian economy. With more fog yet to come, the Bank of Canada is going to meet again on January 29th. Adrian, do the math. That's just nine days after the new U.S. president sworn into office. A new era. Uh, we need to talk about the Canadian dollar because the thinking had been that another uh, cut would drive down the loony, but that didn't happen. It didn't. That word gradual that we talked about, that certainly mollified a lot of investors, and a lot of that had been priced in, and it just sort of gave them the sense that we wouldn't see any more of these really big, supersized cuts. But make no mistake, the loony is weak, mm -hmm. and it still has a lot of risk that it'll slip below that 70-cent margin. All right, Peter Armstrong, thank you. You bet.